Welcome to another exciting edition of your favorite celebrity show on television, Avenue for the Stars ATS Show, the program that bridges the gap between celebrities and their fans. Last week, we told you who's going to be on the show, and today, our last week winner has already met her. But before we start taking questions from fans, let's go straight to the entertainment news. It's the ATS show. It lost both parents in that conflict of North. Something Wicked is a nerve-wracking story of a widow named Anwa who received a recently orphaned nephew into her home after the murder of his parents in the Atlas sectarian crisis that engulfed a northern Nigerian city. As the movie premieres in Lagos, the ATS crew speaks with cast and crew of the movie. It's Something Wicked is a story, is a, is a, is a film about a widow um, um, and her three kids. Um, it's basically the life, her life trying to balance out her, her, her business, you know, a failing business and um, raising her children, or well, not children per se, but you know, taking care of her, her family. The story was a thrill, it was mind-blowing, so it seemed like it would be a challenge to pull off. We don't do dark stories in Nigeria. We're very, very happy people. We like happy stories. We like stories with sweet endings. The movie is very different. I think it's not the usual comedy or... It's not something that's going to make you laugh. I think it's... Um, it has a lot of real life stuff somehow embedded. And um, I think generally people just need to be careful. People need to know that things are really happening in the society. And we need to be careful with some of our relatives because we actually did not watch them grow and then they come into our lives and become something else. Yeah. Welcome back. We told you who our celebrity for the week is. So, without wasting time, let's meet her. Dr. Joe O.K. Udumake, President, Women Arise, President, Center for Change, Convener, Nigerians Unite Against Terror, and Chairman Task Force Citizen Forum. Hey, my name is Lambas Chikudi Bright. Um, my question to Comrade Udumake is that as um, a human activist, are you only limited to your country, the continent, or the world? Well, uh, as a, a human rights activist, it's a universal thing. First and foremost, um, I have to zero down my activity to my own area of uh, jurisdiction, and that is first Lagos, then Nigeria. Some executions that are taking place, for instance, the one that, uh, that took place of, uh, of recent in uh, Pakistan and some other countries. So it's not um, just limited to Nigeria, but it's a, it's a, it's a global thing. And my name is Temela. My question goes to Comrade Joe Dumake. I want to know what actually motivated her to start standing up for people. Thank you. It's, it's a good uh, uh, question. Well, I started off, I wanted to be a nun, a reverend sister, uh, because my parents were staunch Catholics. So my father said that he was going to disown me, he was in the UK. And then um, the reverend father said, the reverend father said, well, it's your earthly father. If he disowns you, that does not really matter. So. I decided I was going to continue to read, but one quotation changed everything, and that was March 1985, which says from Martin Luther King that our lives begin to end, the day we become silent about things that matter. And since then, that thing wired, you know, that passion in me. So since that time, I, I hate injustice, and I want to see smile on the faces of everyone. Hello, my name is Bridget Onolapo. My question is to Comrade Odumake. Would you advise women to join the activist movement? Thank you, ma'am. Bridget, that's a very good one. Ah, yes, it depends on the passion, interest. And I've always to some of the women that I've, uh, that I've had cause to mentor that we are the ones that put the issues on the front burner. And by the time one is engaged, in politics, one 
we'll be able to contend with all the things that have been serving as inhibition to the progress of women folk. So it's a very difficult terrain, but if one breezes up, I think it, all of us might not have the same interest. I don't want to go into politics, but I always want to advise those who want to do that to please do that. And that's the way that one can contribute meaningfully to the growth and development, and even contribute meaningfully in the upliftment of the standard of women. This is a live battle, and I think if we have rulers that are listening, this is the time for them to heed to the masses. Hello, my name is Joma Ruth. My question goes to Comrade Odumaki. In the year 2010, during the fuel increment, we are part of the Occupy Nigeria campaign team. Please, what happened when President Buhari recently increased the fuel of price? Thank you. Well, the, that time during uh, President Goodluck uh, Jonathan, is, it, it was, it, the thing was spontaneous. People felt that that wicked gift was given to them as New Year gift. And as at the time we started through Save Nigerian Group, who found out that people themselves were wired up for that change. This time around, fuel was increased. Checking the pulse of the people. Wherever people find themselves, and when they feel that sense of injustice, it should be a spontaneous thing. And that is why I'm still calling on you, Ijoma, that there are several roles that you can play even at this time of, I mean, at this age of yours. And I just want to assure you that I will never keep mute at the slightest injustice. But I want everyone to be wired up when they feel that sense of injustice. My question for Joe Odumakin this afternoon is the fact that there are, still there are still children on the street and the less privileged. And we heard of cases where people were tried for court and because of the rich and the poor differences, the rich come out on the top. Now my question is, a human rights activist is meant to be active. Now to you, Joe Odumakin, is how active are you in this field of human rights? That's how active are you in defending the less privileged, those on the street, the children who didn't go to school, those who are less privileged in terms of finances? How active are you in taking up their cases and standing for them in the court of law? Thank you. Well, we've taken up uh, several cases. In fact, there was a time we had protests where trying to l let people realize that there's a penalty for sending out their words out on the streets. There's something in Lagos, a yellow card, which the uh, past administration issued, that any child that is of school age that is found outside, the person that has sent such a child out will be taken before the law court. What I would just advise is that if we know of anywhere where we we'll see children, you know, roaming about, children going through trafficking or experiencing, we must try, we we'll try as much as possible to call the attention of those concerned. Please, my name is Samuel Lurikachi. I'm from Pogues College High School. How is it that you um, do this? human right defending, protecting the rights of um, certain smaller people. So uh, is, are you doing it from your own consent? Are you doing it from your own mind, from the fear of God? Are you just doing it for public display or for um, self-improvement? Also, I'm um, thinking about if you are helping other people with their own human affairs, how then are you now coping with your own family life and your own family affairs and problems. Like every day brings a new problem. Everyone has a new problem. So uh, us, you are helping us defend our problems. But what about your own problem? What are you doing about your own problem? Uh, these are the questions I just want to know. Please, and I really like if, if you can give me an answer. Thank you for uh, the lucid presentation of issues. 
I just want you to realize that whatever I've done, if it's for self, if it's just the bravado thing, one will have retired long time ago because activism, it has to do with selfless sacrifice. Sacrificing a lot. And apart from that, all the awards, all the recognition, one, one will have been tired of all these things. I've said it before that I was going to be married to the struggle until then, after the debate, we came together. So, therefore, there are a lot of things that I do. Problems, really, I don't um, carry all those you know, problems in my head. But I think that until I see a just society, until I get to the point where things work, and until I see that justice, fairness, and equity reigns, I will still continue to be at the battlefield. Hi, my name is Steven Orimogunje, and my question is directed towards Comrade Odumaki. Comrade, if you was not an activist, what would you have become? Thank you. Be married to Jesus. Help in winning souls and continue my service in the vineyard of our Lord. Nigeria youth, my advice really, I want you to realize that he that has the youth has the future. So I want our youth to realize that they can only be who they are and what they want to become. All the things I've been doing, I did all without even thinking that anyone would take notice of me until that time I was invited to the United States. Dear Sean, this is the segment that you love to love. Of course, I know everybody's trying to find out who is going to be the guest on the show today. Who is that celebrity? You're spending two faces TV, you're spending the band. Oh no, it's a different ballgame today, okay? So, this is how we roll. Somebody really, really different. And of course, we've got a winner for this segment. Nelly is about to meet with the celebrity for today. So, all you need to do is stick around, don't go nowhere. And of course, the ATS show, the Avenue for the Stars, is still here with you. My name is Shangalo. You can come with the mouthpiece, Motherland Africa. Even, of course, I'll have the winner already, right? Here with me already. His name goes by the name Lino. Lino, yeah. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. Today's gonna be the yeah. day of my life. Like meeting, yeah. I'm coming Joe for like for the first time. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting her. I'm just get to meet her. No, um. More, much about her. Like, yeah, you, know, you know, it's not really easy. I'm sure you're ready right now, right? All right, so stick around on the HS show, Avenue for the Stars. Meet with your celebrity, your boy Shangalo, right here. Don't go anywhere. She doesn't need an introduction, of course, no. But hey, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let me just do it. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Wonderful. Good evening. Hey. Pleasure to meet you. Finally, we are here, the ATS crew, and it's a wonderful, wonderful to meet you today. Thank you for the time that you you're sparing for us to come here today and be with you in your home, your house. Man, it's wonderful. We have stars already. Okay, right now, every every, uh, every time we do this, we have somebody that is going to win. Is uh, uh, like we ask questions, and this this guy has to answer. No matter who that person is, you answer the question correctly, and you you. Will we have the chance to meet with a superstar, a celebrity. It doesn't matter who the person is, but it has to be a superstar and a celebrity. And today we have a winner. Wow. Yeah, wow. we have a winner. Wow. And he's longing to meet with you. Right now, allow me to introduce Mr. Lino. <laughs> This this is what I'm talking about. This this is Sally moment. Yeah, yeah, this is Sally. So okay, okay. I, I think I should stay in here. I think I should stand here. So Lino, how are you feeling right now? Meeting really I miss right now, like being with my gold model. Let me just put in my gold model, like being with her. Like this is my best day of day of the life. Like I'm very happy to be with her right now. Very very happy. I'm sure you have just one question because you know we permit you to ask just one question. What would that be? Um, mommy, how did you feel when the award of um uh, Miss Chelly um Chelly Obama and uh, Kelly John was Kelly John was presented to you the award. How did you feel when anyone give it to you? How did you feel? Well, about? I felt fulfilled because standing at the worst stage with the people that represent that system that has given hope to the world restored my hope. And then another great motivation, you know, it was like tonic, you know, added strength, zeal, because all the while I was doing all that I've been doing, I never knew that anyone was taking notice of all that I was doing. So it was a sense of fulfillment. Then 
re commitment to the ideals of a better society. Wow. Here goes the question. And now I know this is the part that everybody wants to see. Yeah, the part that we get to present the gift. Yeah, to the winner of the week. If you want to be part of this, all you need to do is just answer the questions scrolling down your screen. And most definitely, you will have the chance to meet with a celebrity like this. And now we have a gift for you, Lino. Wow. <laughs> Why I'm giving you some of these. I will start with Martin Luther King. Yes, my Luther King. I had wanted to be a nun, but when my lecturer discovered me and then gave me books to read, the first I picked was the one written by Martin Luther King. And one of his quotations I said, our lives begin to end the day will become silent about things that matter. So I'm presenting this book to you, Matt Lino. Thank you, Matt. Oh, thank you very, very much, Matt. They they are great. And, and then uh, my birthday has always been celebrated in schools, secondary school. You can see the back, would you do junior secondary school? And each time I go, I believe in giving them writing materials and books. So after <coughs> close to 10,000 I distributed, wow. I have these three left. And so I'm giving you, you the well. books because I Pleasure. from Imo State University. Yeah, State University. Okay, okay, great. So, and then this, this calendar, I think when you look at it, it's like a catalog wow. because it has to do with all the events most of the events that we have had. And then um, we had a conference, you know, sometimes a go. So it's a, a, a workshop on the implementation of the guidelines on gender-based violence in Nigeria. Because you know gender-based violence is on the rise. And so this is... Uh, for you, I had to dig out this bag for you. And then uh, wow. now, you know there's terrorism everywhere. I'm sure by the time you get back to the campus, you, you, you are going to be a good ambassador, an anti-terror ambassador. So we're having a series of campaigns. We've gone to see the Inspector General of Police. And so these are Jota, an anti-terror campaign because we, Nigerians unite against terror. Now it's Niger unite against terror. Yeah, yeah. So these are Jota. And then if you want to set up a unit on campus, this is just like the handbook okay. uh, to know what, yeah, yes, line to know what Nigerians unite against uh, terror is all about because terror diminishes our humanity. And so, I'm sure by the time you read through, you have any question to ask me. Our t-shirts will have, uh, we, won't, yeah. we, we won't bow, we won't bow. We to, terror. to terror. And you can see the face. And then, a people united can never be defeated. Yeah. And so, if we, uh, the, the, the back of the, of the shirt again will have, Nigerians Nigeria unite against, against terror. terror. And then we'll have our Twitter handle, at Dr. Joe Udumaki, we also have our Instagram, then at a post terror. So I'm sure by the time you put it on, uh, well, we'll have a few more requests. I know how to how to send the t-shirts down to you at Musu. So it's yeah, yeah t-shirt, your face cap, and I know that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're going to need a, the, like a very good to converge all these back home. That's me. <laughs> and then I know I, you might you might want to call, you might want to send it. So this is just a token wow. uh, uh, from me for maybe, yes. Okay, all you need to do is just yeah. strive very hard, answer the questions correctly so you can be here and also, you know, yeah. getting all these gifts on the ATS show. So Wonderful. This is a token from me for, for you. Thank you. And, I, and like I've said, as, um, at least uh, you are an ambassador. And then uh, I give you my numbers. Wow. Take yours. Call me. Let me know how you are doing. Congratulations. Let me give you the congrats. Wow. Thank you very much. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. This is how we do it on the ATS show, the Avenue for the Stars. And it's about that time I will take a bow. My name is Changalo. You can call me the mouthpiece, Motherland Africa. Don't go nowhere. We're still here.
Aruno Shola Adebayo, popularly known as Baba Ganyagba, was born in Ibari Oke Shokwe, Ijebu Igbo, in the present-day Ogun state of Nigeria in the year 1919. His father was a native doctor and was also a singer. In 1947, Aruno Shola developed an interest in music and collected some boys from his area and formed his own group, Aruno Shola and his Akbala group. In 1948, Aruno Shola made his first record entitled Orimo Lucy Adigwe, the Oba of Ijebu Ibo, but the record did not sell as Aruno had expected. The major turning point in his life was the release of his first LP titled Oroki Social Club, which sold over 5 million copies between 1971 to 1983. Some of his other hit records are Inoro, Late Owonifari. In his lifetime, Aruno Shola traveled all over the world, propagating his music genre, Akbala. In 1981, in recognition of his contribution to the cultural, social, and economical awareness of the country, the then president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Alahaji Sheu Shagari, presented him with a national award as a member of the Order of the Niger, MON. The musical legacy joined its ancestor on the 9th of November 1983. Although Baba Ganyagba is physically dead, his music legacy lives on. <laughs> That's our program for you today. Of course, you enjoyed it. To meet our celebrity next week, answer this simple question. Send your answers to this number or any of our social media platforms on your screen. Make sure you join us again next week. But until that time, take care of yourself and be cool. Mr.